Okay, a lot has changed since the last time I updated you. So we're looking at here, is the charger actually connected? So you've got the negative here and the positive on the other side, plugs into the charger there. You can probably hear the fan going. So uh, I guess the, the right word is uh, negligence. Um, so in connecting the card, we obviously didn't read the manual, cliche alert and we managed to blow this card here, but luckily I had a replacement, so I've replaced that. The next cliche was um, I didn't really test the code and the logic, so over here I've got my uh, scripts that I run, and then in setting it up, I managed to clear all the addresses in the bus, so I just spent an hour redoing the addresses. The, the good cliche is that um, in my last video to do with the software, I was uh, had an off by one error, which to anyone that's not a programmer, it's the most newbie mistake to make and very embarrassing and comical. But it turns out it wasn't my code, it was actually the, the card. So you have to program the address twice because if you program it once from zero, then it's off by one. So that was corrected. Um, so now I'm actually running the charger. You can kind of see it there, running at uh, about 10 amps. And then I've got it set to 316 volts, which is the total battery pack size. Um, all the cards are functioning. I've got my thermometer there so I can actually test and see how uh, warm the whole thing's getting. I've got the typical J connector plugged in, so I'm happy with that. Nothing's on fire. My buddy Nick came down to make sure that if I did electrocute myself, then he'd administer CPR and call 911 or... 999 if you're not an American but otherwise it's it's running I can hear the fans spinning there's a charge happening so I'm going to uh, just watch it closely and make sure it doesn't burst into flames I guess and then tomorrow we'll be putting the uh, the controller in that hole there very pleased with myself 